Namaste. This is Mekla here from Pooja Student. Of late, I've been getting a lot of uh, calls, especially from broken hearts. So, do you want to guess what this video is about? Any guesses? Yeah, okay. So, uh, let me tell you. It's basically for people who are in love and who aspire to get married to somebody of their choice. Uh, somebody who are, whom they are in madly in love with and truly in love with and deeply in love with. So a um, lot of people call me and they say that um, they want to get married to somebody of their choice only. They say that, you know, I really love her and uh, I know that uh, the chart, there's some complications with the chart and my parents do not want me to get married to her. She belongs to another caste. Apparently, she's Manglik, and you know, um, I don't understand these things, but I just love her truly, madly, and deeply. So, I want to marry. Likewise, I get calls from women also saying they really want to get married to the person whom they are in love with, but um, somehow things are not gone. You say, What do we do? So, today's video, I would like to address it. To the, all the aspiring boys or men who want to get married to the lady of their choice. So what is it that you need to do? See basically we have uh, two very powerful pujas. Uh, this puja is all about you having somebody in mind and your heart and you really want to marry only that person and nobody else. So what exactly makes you feel like that basically? It's like it's also called as Gandharva Vivaha. So what happens is that you will have this person in your mind and you don't feel, you feel that, you know, that person is your soulmate and you don't feel you can live with anyone else but that person. So like that, then you know that, you know, you're in total conviction that no matter what, no matter how many challenges you're going to face, you are ready to face the entire world, go against the entire world and just marry that person. So if you have this bent of mind and bent of heart, then I would re recommend you to go for Vishwa Vasu Gandharva Raja Homa. So um, there are two varieties in this, uh, which is uh, Chitrasena Gandharva Raja Homa and Vishwa Vasu Gandharva Raja Homa. Chitrasena Gandharva Raja Homa is basically for any aspiring man or a boy who wants to get married, um, boy of marriageable age, let me clarify that also, who wants to get married to, generally get married and settle down. So if you want to be uh, just, you're not particular about whom you're going to marry, you don't have anybody in mind and heart and you just feel you're open to marriage, you just want a good proposal to come to you. Then we recommend you to go for Chitrasena Gandhara Raja Homa. Now, there are other people who will say no, no matter what, whether the girl is rich or poor, whether the girl is well to do or not, whether the girl belongs to my caste or not, I want to marry her. Come what may, whether my parents agree or not, uh, I don't mind if the whole world is against me, but I want to marry this girl. So if that is your state of mind, then we would recommend you to go for Vishwa Vasugandharva Raja Homa. What happens with this Homa is everything will become conducive. The family which was hitherto very much against this relationship or marriage will agree to it, whether it's the girl side or the boy side, the hassle can be from any side. Second thing is that we see that a lot of love marriages fail these days after one year, two years. You know, elders will always tell you, you'll know the reality of marriage only after you get married. Now things look very rosy, but it's not going to be the same. You know, we've heard many elders advise youngsters or uh, aspiring couple who want to get married. So what do we uh, hear them say? They say, no, no, no. Now everything is very nice. Very soon you will realize you made a big mistake and both of you are going to regret it. That's what we hear, right? So for such things also, this puja will really help in the sense that it will um, bring in compatibility and samaras bhavana between you both and also between the families. So it's a binding agent. It creates those binding vibrations where you are bound by love and not just obligation of a relationship. So uh, where you know there is mutual respect and there's a lot of love and there's more of giving rather than just um, you know taking. So it's more like you give and you receive, you give and you receive. Like that it's more of a, a very healthy 
atmosphere in the family and a very healthy relationship which is what is lacking these days so uh, it's actually very disturbing uh, to know a lot of people calling and uh, saying i want to divorce my wife i want to divorce my husband i want a peaceful settlement and things like that so um you know it's very disturbing because many of it is like by choice they would have uh, made a choice to marry this person and they feel it's a big mistake and some of them even uh, you know go on to matrimonial sites and just choose a very good profile or profile which looks like yeah uh, the person is educated and well to do and things like that and just one or two months after marriage they are not able to sustain or manage the relationship they feel this is not the right person for me or this is not the person i saw online or you know or i met and i spoke to or i've been in relationship with for so long you know these are the things which we see so this vishwava sugandhar varaja homa will or havan will really help you in generating that kind of an environment which is in total harmony and sync with you and with your relationship where there's respect for your relationship and where there's no conflict so this is what it will bring in attitudinal changes due to the vibrations it creates because of the mantras so this is prescribed by adi shankaracharya in prapancha sara sara sangraha so these we have performed this puja for many 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 boys men men of marriageable age particularly so it has really helped them a lot i think we have performed it for men uh, almost up to 40 years of age and it has really worked well so there's no um, even if there's a delay in marriage like for example your kundli says there's no problem and um, you are a nice person you're a nice guy and you are well to do you're earning well you lo- you're looking very nice and smart and you have a good family background and everything in despite of it if you still are not able to get a good girl for yourself for whatever reason like a good spouse or a life partner then also this puja is going to be very very beneficial like i said if you're not particular about whom you want to marry chitrasena gandharva raja homa is good but if you are particular about marrying a person and you want that person only to be your um, lucky lady and your the lady of your life your better half then you better get the vishwavasu gandharva raja homa that will be the most ideal puja for you so here uh, even the barriers created by planets as per your chart those barriers are also negated and um, fresh avenues will open up for you both to start your life together so i wish all the aspiring couple um, that you know your dream may your dreams come true and may you live up to your expectations with each other because that's what keeps a relationship going right so you have to keep up your relationship you have to um, re- you know let there be mutual respect in you both that let there be mutual love and understanding let there be harm- harmony amongst both of you and uh, most importantly let your families and friends accept you as a couple that's the most important thing and that is what is lacking and that is the starting point for any conflict to happen you know when the mother in law is not treating you well or you know not showing you respect the husband gets torn between the two you know what's happening we see so many mother in laws also calling us and complaining my daughter in law is really not up to the mark and i really wish my son found somebody better you know i just can't deal with her she wakes up she wakes up late she's very argumentative and these kind of things so nobody is accommodative if a daughter for example would do the same thing would wake up late and would argue i don't think mothers would have had a problem so the problem is not about the uh, the gender the problem is the attitude of the family members on how they accept a new member in the family or how possessive they are about their son or daughter so even uh, people who are already married and facing if you are facing these issues this havan will really resolve these issues to an extent where you know uh um, there is just bonding between the entire family so all the family members are put together and uh, you're doing good and you're good to go and not just to show to the world but also you feel so nice about you know having a new member in the family and accepting her as your daughter in law or your daughter so uh, even if you're already married and if you're facing these issues of not being accepted uh as a daughter in law or you you know not your if you feel your wife is not being accepted as a daughter in law 
please get this havan done you'll actually be getting a lot of peace of mind because this has really helped many 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 families and family members bond in total harmony so i wish you all the best and i really wish that you know your true and deep love comes true to the extent of you know you being together all your life i wish you all the best thank you so much namaste